Did you know bronze once ruled everyone's lives? Those who had it built the pyramids, and those who didn't were enslaved. This is why bronze is the empire metal. Most people know that before iron, there was a bronze age. 90% copper and 10% tin. Bronze is roughly 3000 times rarer than iron. So for every 3000 iron swords, there exists only one sword worth of copper and tin on the earth. Furthermore, tin and copper rarely existed in the same country. Greece had neither for example, and had to get copper from Cyprus and tin all the way from Afghanistan and Britain. Making a sword was just the last step in a years long process of mining it in Afghanistan and transporting it over the backs of camels, riverboats and across deadly seas, which was soon filled with pirates who exploited bronze's distance and created vast pirate armies with stolen bronze. If you're enjoying, why not subscribe for more ancient history deep dives? Only extremely rich and complex power structures could build such high volume trade networks and protect them from pirates. This forced Bronze Age societies to develop first before they made war, while iron societies often skipped the civilization step and went straight to tribal warfare. Magnificent Bronze Age states were the outcome, in many ways more sophisticated than later Iron Age civilizations. Arts, inventions and new ideas flowed along with copper and tin trade. This made for a much more collaborative world with a super civilization structure, where each individual civilization could specialize and achieve much higher mastery than seen in many civilizations after the Bronze Age. And that's even before factoring in bronze's unique material advantages. Unlike iron, which until modern times couldn't be melted, but much more difficultly forged into cruder shapes, bronze could be cast in precise and complex ways. Bronze armors had more complex designs, and bronze weapons had these riches to strengthen their points of action. The Minoans even cast them into cogs, machine parts, making an eclipse calculator that some refer to as the world's first analog computer. And these Minoans were as ancient to Romans as Romans are to us. Building those bronze trade networks took a lot of effort, but once built, their bronze armies cut through stone-wielding foes like butter. Bronze made empires arise more naturally than iron, and elites could easily dominate the masses who could only get bronze through them. The Iron Age wasn't some revolution when someone invented iron. No iron was already forged during most of the Bronze Age. It simply was worse than bronze. The Iron Age began as a dark age forced upon civilization when pirates cut off those bronze trade networks. They quickly lost the sophistication to regain trade with Britain and Afghanistan. These pirates were quite sophisticated actually, nerds one might say, which I explored in another video on your right. Thank you for watching.